Does it piss you off when you open the window for just five minutes before bed to air out the room and a mosquito comes flying in? Just its buzzing can make you itchy right away. Not to talk about the fact that it's hard to spot, and even if you do, you have to calculate the perfect trajectory to kill the bastard. So what's our video about? Oh yeah, mosquitoes. They are really annoying, but watching a mosquito fill its belly with blood is quite hypnotizing, interesting, and not very pleasant. Especially for those we become a drinking fountain for the mosquito, and those itchy bite marks. But what if we don't stop the mosquito and let it drink as much as it wants? Well… This is one of the first ever TVs ever made. This is a video recorded in 1912. It shows a mustached man named Franz Reichelt preparing to die in front of the world. But as weird as it sounds, nobody forced him to do it, and he didn't have any mental problems. On the contrary, Franz was going to die to save the lives of thousands, maybe even millions. Truth be told, he wasn't planning on dying. What you see behind his back is a wingsuit. Today, these suits are used by adrenaline seekers who like to fly in the air. But at the beginning of the 20th century, nobody could even imagine Imagine something like that. At the time, even parachutes hadn't been invented. But Reichelt really wanted to fly, and to test his creation, he climbed the Eiffel Tower. And. Yeah, back then, many people must have thought Reichelt was crazy. But he was just an inventor. He was brilliant in his own way. But Reichelt didn't just come up with his project, he stole his idea from the best inventor in the world, the most talented and the most productive, Mother Nature, of course. Almost everything that humankind tries to make has already been invented by nature. But copying the ideas of nature can hardly be called stealing. Not because the planet will not sue you for plagiarism, it's just that the process has its own name, biomimicry. The state of Montana Montana even has a whole institute of biomimicry. It supports projects inspired by living organisms. In fact, you can draw inspiration from any living creature, even a mosquito. Yeah, a little buzzing bastard that keeps you awake at night can be useful too. After watching mosquitoes suck blood, scientists were able to create special medical needles. Although they look frightening, these needles are much less painful than ordinary ones. They tear the skin in the same way as a mosquito does by vibrating at around 15 hertz. But what about mosquitoes? Do they even know when to stop? Usually they do, but sometimes something goes wrong in their little organisms and then the insects just pop. Now that's an eating disorder. Luckily, this doesn't happen to people. Our bodies are more sophisticated and usually let us know if eating another nugget is wrong. Hey, hey, stop. But some people do suffer from a thirst that cannot be quenched, the thirst for knowledge. No matter how pathetic it sounds, a person is capable of doing absolutely crazy things to learn or feel something completely new. For example, jumping from space, baking bread with lava. Wait, wait, what? Baking bread with lava? Yeah, we're not joking. The world's only lava bakery is located in Iceland. This comes as no surprise because the country is filled with volcanoes and geysers. Geothermal energy from the ground provides 30% of Iceland's electricity. Not surprisingly, this energy is also used for baking. The process starts out as usual. The dough is thoroughly mixed and placed in a metal container or a pot. Even some old coffee can will do. The important thing is to have a tight lid. Then the can is buried in hot ground and a stone is placed on top. Otherwise, you could forget where exactly it's buried. 24 hours later, the bread's ready. Its consistency is a little more like cake, and it has a sweeter taste than regular bread, but, but who wouldn't like a slice? What? You think bread baked in the ground is the weirdest thing you can think of? Well, believe us, it's not even top 10. There are so many more unusual things in the world, like, like high-voltage music. Arc Attack is a unique music band that looks more like a bunch of crazy scientists playing guitar. But its members don't just play music like millions of other people. Apart from playing guitar and bass, the members of Arc Attack use high-tech instruments. For example, two Tesla coils and a robotic drum set that's controlled by a computer with a microcontroller. Basically, they have a drummer robot and a show of thunder. There's also a stuntman in the group because the voltage is so high that it's impossible to do some things without a stuntman. How could someone even think of that? The human imagination is truly limitless. And sometimes, as a result of such experiments, beautiful things are born. Two, one.
Even if you're a little interested in space, or, well, if you read the news, you probably know how the whole world reacted to the SpaceX rocket launches. And not just because they're always technical breakthroughs and blah blah blah. To admire the work of Elon Musk, you just have to look up at the sky and find the falcon swooping through the dark sky. To see the trail it's leaving behind, this is absolutely incredible. Looks like an alien invasion, or the most beautiful northern lights in the world, or a special power from Elsa from the movie Frozen. But this drawing in the sky is beautiful. We simply don't have words for it. It's just, just look takes your breath away. But let's leave human achievement behind for a while and go back to nature. We all have seen bats, mosquitoes, and duck-billed platypus, but nature must have something new to surprise us. Oh yes, it does. What about the windiest place on the planet? This place won't just rip your baseball cap off, it could even rip your head off. Mount Washington is the highest peak in the northeastern United States at 1,917 meters above sea level. On the top, there's a weather station that has recorded the craziest wind speeds. Once the instrument showed 372 kilometers per hour. For comparison, even at 88 kilometers per hour, wind can demolish a small house, just like the wolf team from Three Little Piggies did. A wind with a speed of over 130 kilometers per hour is almost impossible to withstand. You're welcome to try, of course, but most likely you'll manage to stand in one place and hope that some particularly strong gust won't take you off the mountain. And the weather in this place isn't great either. As you see, it's not a good place for a quiet holiday. But nature knows how to surprise us, not only with its destructive power, although of course its ability to break things is very impressive, nevertheless, it can also create absolutely incredible things. Albino plants. What? Everybody knows albino animals, and maybe one of you even kept a red-eyed rat in a cage. But among plants, this mutation is really rare. Albino redwoods have been called ghosts of the forest. We have found 13 albinos in this park. And not very many, not when you consider there's two million redwood trees out there. A unique example is the albino redwood. This plant is unable to produce chlorophyll, so it's white. Unfortunately, without this vital ability, the plant can't have a normal life. To survive, it must be parasitic on other plants. The redwood attaches its roots to the root systems of healthy trees and feeds from them. You can even say that it's the mosquito of the plant world. To date, scientists know of about 400 albino trees, but their exact location is kept secret. They don't want tourists taking the plants to make a white herbarium. By the way, these redwoods didn't appear as a result of bad ecology, global warming, or other problems caused by human actions. These unusual trees were already mentioned in Native American legends. Also, albino redwoods have been used in various rites. But despite all the achievements of science, people have not yet learned how to create albinos artificially. It's hard to be cooler than nature, but we're going to keep trying. David Aguilar was born without his right forearm, which meant he'd have a very difficult life to live. Prostheses are very expensive. A normal prosthesis can cost between $4,000 and $100,000 depending on its functionality. But you know what's a lot cheaper? A Lego set. Put my arm inside till the end, and I will show you how I can grab things with the mechanism I built. David started making prosthetic arms out of Lego at the age of nine. Each new version had more features than the previous one, and over time, the prosthesis began to resemble Iron Man's suit instead of looking like a child's toy. Of course, you should consider that they were not just bricks. Modern Lego kits include not only plastic parts, but also electric motors, cables, and power units. In other words, a bunch of useful things. Many engineers use Lego kits to assemble high-tech toys, but David decided to create prosthesis. In other words, he built a fully functional robotic arm at the age of 18. It's just, wow, could you do something like that using just Legos? Sounds impossible, even for the best. David is currently studying bioengineering at the University International of Catalonia in Spain. Well, the dream of this young Tony Stark is to develop cheap robotic prosthesis for those who need them. But you know, inventions that arouse genuine enthusiasm are not necessarily new. Sometimes you just have to learn about the traditions of your ancestors and boom! The Chinese tradition of Da Shahua has been around for 500 years, but it's still fascinating. The name can be translated as creating a tree flower. In ancient times, poor blacksmiths could not afford to buy expensive firecrackers and came up with a cheap alternative. After melting iron at about 1,000 degrees Celsius, they splashed it onto a stone wall. 
What? Well, there was no Netflix back then. They had to have fun somehow. After coming into contact with the cold stone, the melt created beautiful floral patterns. It was like a budget fireworks show on the backs of the poor blacksmiths. By the way, despite a 500-year history, nobody has died or even suffered from these shows. Sounds too good to be true. But still, we don't advise you to do this at home, even if you're from China. Seriously, don't. Better subscribe to our channel, and if you enjoyed our video, don't forget to give us a like, click on the bell, and well, you know the drill. We'll see you in our next episode. It's gonna be awesome!